my kitchen. I'm Sweet Kate, and today we're making cake mix sandwich cookies. Now let's get this out front. There's no wrong way to cake, to bake, to enjoy baked goods. Whether you're starting out and you wanna use a cake mix or you're a pro and you're using cake mix, I just wanna get that out there. And today we're gonna to be making these cookies and they're gonna be so delicious. And it's so easy because half the ingredients if not, most of the ingredients are already measured out for you. Since we're making cookies instead of a cake, we're not gonna follow the directions on the back of the box to a T. We're going to actually make a couple adjustments. We are gonna add half a cup of vegetable oil right in there. I just got this new spatula. It has little hearts on it. Look how cute. I thought it was the perfect spatula to use for today. And then in this bowl, I'm actually just gonna crack my eggs and add them right in. Now that we have everything in the bowl, all we gotta do is mix. Alrighty, now we have a really nice dough here. It's not gonna be the same consistency as our cake batter would be because we're making cookies. You know what, I was about to scrape these, but then I was like, let me show you one of my favorite tricks that makes me feel like a real pro when getting batter or dough off beaters. Instead of going down into your mixture, you're gonna let it hover just a little bit above the bowl. You wanna make sure anything that is on the beater is well within the bowl itself. And then kick it on low speed a little bit further. And all that goodness is going to get shot out into the bowl itself. And then you have to do a lot less work of scraping the beaters. Of course, be careful with this trick because it's very easy for things to go flying in the kitchen. Once things are mixed with a mixer, I like to give my dough just a little extra love just to make sure there's no clumps of those dry ingredients and no one's gonna be biting into a ball of flour into their cookie. It's just luscious cookie all the way through. With this dough, you can use a cookie scoop to scoop it and place it on your cookie sheet. I wanna show you a little extra way we can add a little pizzazz to these cookies. First, you're gonna need a piping bag with the end snipped off and I'm gonna add a large round tip just to add a little bit of consistency, but if you don't have one, no worries. The, t the snipped end will work just fine. To make filling this a little bit easier, I'm gonna place it in a cup to give me some stability. And then I'm gonna add our cookie dough right in there. Ooh, that looks so good. Red velvet, I am a sucker for red velvet. Ooh, with cream cheese, love. It's the time of love, of course there's gotta be chocolate, red velvet, all the goodness. If you can tell the batter is sticky, but it doesn't leave any residue. So you could shape these with your hand. Every little last bit of dough. Now we have cookie dough in a piping bag. I'm gonna take a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper and start to pipe out our cookies. To create our heart shapes, we're gonna pipe one dollop on one side and bring it to the center and then pipe another dollop and bring it to the center. And you'll have a cute little heart. Dollop, bring it down, dollop, bring it down. When I bring it towards the center, I'm loosening the pressure so I get less dough coming out. And to shape these just a little bit, I'm just with clean hands gonna shape them to my liking. They are gonna spread, so any indentation between the two heart lobes is going to combine, so we want it to be a little more exaggerated. This would be my perspective. Oh, I think that's even better. Or maybe it's just because I can't see it from the other side, but from this side, my this side, my side, it's looking pretty good, and I did just put my finger in that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pipe the rest of these and then we'll pop them in the oven. Okay, while the cookies are cooling, we're gonna make the filling, which is going to be a Nutella whipped cream because you know that's our favorite around here. How I make this is I make my magic whipped cream recipe, which is in the description, and then I add Nutella one it is whipped up to a soft peak. And then we whip it up to a stiff peak. Okay, that's enough sugar. 
we're gonna add Nutella to it. Alrighty, we have a nice soft peak there. It's time to add the Nutella. And this here is the ultimate measure with your heart. There's not much left in this jar, so we might need to call in reinforcements, AKA the big jar. <laughs> We've called in the reinforcements. <laughs> if you're curious, I think I added about half a cup of Nutella. Now let's whip it. Want to come try this? Yeah. I'm gonna pop this in a piping bag, let this chill, and let's jump over to our cookies. The cookies are cooled, and now we want to match them together. Since we're gonna be sandwiching these, we want to find ones that are generally in the same size. You definitely can use a template to pipe them exact. I like to go by the heart. Pun intended. Wow. Is that too cheesy? That looks great. <laughs> Good match. Y'all, I've been wanting to film this video for weeks now. I have been under the weather for almost three weeks. And if you have like a lingering cough, like, oh, it's frustrating. But like, what got me down was I had zero voice. Like, it was so raspy. And you could probably tell from content because um, I had to film a couple things while having a rough voice. But I'm so happy to finally have somewhat of a voice back. And you can probably still hear a little rasp, but I hope that's okay because I couldn't wait any longer to make these cookies. I'm so excited. Plus, me and my husband have had so much fun teaching my husband how to bake, doing that series, and we wanted to like get back at it as soon as possible. Okay, we went three weeks with me being sick and Ronan totally healthy as can be. And then as soon as I turn the corner, he's now getting sick. It's so sad, my love. Oh, it's so hard to see the ones you love under the weather, but we're trudging along. He's such a trooper, and hopefully these cookies will help him feel better. Okay, now some of these, not perfect, nor do they need to be, just because they're gonna be delicious. Just doing our best, what we got. We are gonna want a fresh piece of parchment Woo, for these cookies. I have this smaller tray of cookies that I baked off with the extras, so I'm just going to see if there's any better matches here, because some of them were a little big, a little small. All welcome. Now you certainly don't have to sandwich these, but I think they're gonna be really good. I feel like I'm the ultimate matchmaker, my goodness. Like just, do you feel better with this one? Is there someone better out there for you? I think I'm taking it too seriously. Just the teeniest tiny bit of battery left, so I made these little ones, how cute. Now to keep organized, I'm going to line up our pears, and then we're gonna take one half of the cookies and dunk them in some melted chocolate. Mine's already melted, I'm kinda cooling over there. All right, I've added some Paramount crystals to this chocolate to help it be a little bit better and to give me a nice snap on the chocolate without having to worry about tempering. It's one of the greatest hacks. Love Paramount crystals, but I'm like, I should probably learn how to temper chocolate. But Claire Saffitz uh, struggles in Gourmet Makes, if you've seen that series, love that series, has made me scared, honestly. For the style of these cookies, I'm gonna dunk half of them in the chocolate, and then I'm gonna set them on parchment to set up. Let's get you a closer look. I bring the chocolate to one side, and then I can more easily dunk without having to melt twice the amount of chocolate I need for these cookies. It's my favorite time! Assembly and decoration, yay! Okay, put our filling, the Nutella whipped cream, in a piping bag with a Wilton 1M star tip. And now we're gonna assemble. So I'm gonna take my base cookie, yay, and I'm gonna pipe some filling in there. I'm gonna get a little fancy with it, play around, do some rosettes, but of course you can just like spread this on with a knife or get real fancy with it. That's cute. I really wanted to see the ruffles, so that's why I'm doing it this way. So cute, so pretty. And then we're gonna take the top and add that right there. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, I think I overfilled this one just a bit, but now we know for future. Okay, we know from that first one that it was a little overfilled. That's okay, let's try again. 
glitzy, but still pretty. And then we'll sandwich it. Oh yeah, that gives a little bit more room for it to come down. Oh, it's so cute. All right, girl, come a little closer. Let's get into it. All the cookies are assembled, yay! Now I want you to know, with this recipe, please make it your own. If you just wanna keep it the uh, cookies themselves and maybe use the Nutella cream for another project or just use the whipped cream or just use the cookies, of course, let your own creativity run wild and have fun. The best part though is to eat these. Yay, let's eat one. Mm. <laughs> The texture of the cake mix cookies is something really spectacular. It reminds me almost of like a brownie, but in cookie form. So, so good. Can't recommend it enough. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more baking fun and let me know what you are going to bake this Valentine's. Thank you so much for being here. I love you so much and I can't wait to see you in the next one.